Good morning, brew tubers. We are here in uh, sunny Kentucky. We've decided not to brew outside today. And with me, I have three of the four hats Justin and Steve, who you remember from the Steve Powered Mill. We've got our grain mill here, we've got our sanitizer, we've got our strike water heating up, and we have a new addition today. If Justin will move out of the way, our keg. Look at it in all its glorious beauty. We just pulled uh, the first batch of a scotch ale. It, it is awesome. There you go. Why don't you have a sip of that there, Steve? Delicious. So we've got our keg set up. Might do a video on that later, might not. There's already a, a hundred of uh, keg videos on YouTube. But today, we're going to be making a Pilsner. It's not a traditional Bohemian Pilsner, but I'll tell you what our grain bill is. We've got five pounds of Brees Pilsen malt. We've got three pounds of Weyermann Bohemian Pilsner malt. We've got one pound of flaked corn, which I never used. And I am going to be adding a half pound of melanoidin malt just to kind of get that um, decoction flavor without actually doing a decoction mash. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And I will get back with you guys when we uh, mash in. Uno dos tres cuatro. Steve, if you would be uh, so kind as to film this endeavor. All right, we're gonna go ahead and mash in. We're gonna mash in. Goodness. Okay. Let's see what our temperature is. Now, a lot of people don't like brewing the bag because they say it makes a, a mash that's too thin. And I say, I don't care. Taste my scotch ale. Because uh, I have made many, many beers with brew in a bag, and the vast majority of them have been absolutely delicious. Uh, did we seriously just hit like the good? The, oh yeah, there we go. I'm really hoping that we hit this spot on, and I think we did. Mm -hmm. Okay, a little bit high. Didn't want to go that high, but. You know, still within acceptable parameters. Pull it out. Pull it out. Okay. Yeah, still pretty good. Pew. All right. All right. I can deal with it. We're mashing in a little bit high today, but um, I'm okay with that. It's at 158. We'll lose. Um, some temp over the 90 minute mash so that should give us uh, plenty of good starch conversion oh, maybe a little shit. bit high for a pilsner but but still you know pretty good so all right i'm gonna go ahead and um put the lid on this thing we're gonna start our one hour <laughs> timer or our uh, 90 minute timer and then we will be back to you uh, when we start the sparge I mean, you've got the honey. What you do is you uh, dry it out and you, you let it dry out and then you bake it. With yeah. Well, actually, you can lay it on a cookie sheet you know, and you just dry you just, well, you Actually, can... you can shut the fuck up is what you can do. Yeah, there you go. All right, brew tubers, we are at mash out. We did a 90 minute mash. That's our mash consistency. 
And we're gonna go ahead and uh, do a mash out now, bring it up to 170, and then sparge, and we will be good to go. During the mash, we played Small World, which is a really great board game if you ever want to do something during your mash. Right? Yay. Scotch Ale. Alright, Brewtubers, what we are doing today is we are going to dry this grain out for use in making things like bread and flour and granola brownies bars. and granola and just all kinds of other stuff like that. And that's actually our oven uh, telling me that we have got to 170. 170 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the lowest setting that my oven will go on. We're going to dry that for about seven hours. Seven hours or so, is that correct, Justin? That is correct. Seven hours. Excellent. And or uh, until you feel no more moisture. Excellent. And we're going to use that for all kinds of things. Um, we'll probably make another video on that later, but right now we have our Pilsner boiling. We're doing a 90 minute boil. I added just a little bit of first ward hops. I added some 2.1% <coughs> alpha acid Hallertau. And uh, once the uh, 30 minute mark goes off, I'm actually going to add an ounce of Magnum. Kind of unconventional for a Pilsner, but I'm going to do it anyway. And then we're going to add some uh, Hallertau at 10 minutes and 5 minutes. Alright, well I'm going to go ahead and uh, put these in the oven, and I will get back with you later. Alright, brew tubers, we have uh, almost gotten to our last hop edition. Ended up using uh, one ounce so far of 2.1 alpha acid Hersbrucker. Gonna add one more ounce. We added our uh, yeast nutrient. And we've got our Y yeast smack pack over here of. 2007 pills and lager yeast that I forgot to smack. Let me just wait around a little bit on that. Uh, but what we're going to do right now is add our wart chiller. It's already been uh, soaking in sanitizer, but we're going to go ahead and add it uh, a little bit early, about three minutes early anyway, so that it can get in there and get nice and cozy and sanitary. And there it is. And uh, I do believe that, yep, it's going to be two minutes before our next hop edition. And I just wanted to kind of show you guys. Let me get these out of the way here. There we go. Wanted to show you guys the progress of our grain. We've got it all baking, drying out in there at 170 degrees for seven hours. And we're gonna make all kinds of good stuff with that. I'll show you guys that on a later date. We've got our wart chiller going. It's chilling on down. We've got those whole leaf hops in there. We're gonna go ahead and strain that before it uh, makes its way into our fermenter. And all the way over here, got our water running into a sink full of not actually really dirty dishes, but just kind of dishes that ended up there over the course of the day. Um, and I am drinking, at this particular moment, a brand new scotch ale out of my stone pint glass. I uh, just put this into the keg four or five days ago, and it is absolutely delicious. This is one of the better beers I think I've brewed this year. Not a bad beer. Got our water, got our smack pack, got our wort. And I'll get back to you guys when we transfer to the fermenter.